in the Somnical Pay while you visit. Well, let's play Pokemon Omega Ruby! Alright, guys. Yeah, last time, got ourselves a new team member in Nuzleaf, so we made our way here. Also did some more puzzles at the Trick House, so be sure to check out the last episode. That being said, though, let's go visit Wally and see how he's doing. Now, if you recall from the last episode, don't forget to get that, um, Mall, um, Mall White. Or Marlite, or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, you know, the Megastone. Over there, on, on the edge there, on Route 117. Before you get into town. Because it is easily missable, especially if you don't come over here. So, if you have a Mall while and you look at the Mega Evolving, and you don't have the stone, oof, you're out of luck. That being said, though, my Shroomish got lost. It disappeared around the sign. Where did it go? A sign? Hmm. Let's see if we can find her shroomish. Hmm. Wanda's house. That's where we have to go to. I think that's where Wally is staying at. Let's see if we can find shroomish. Let's see. Hmm. Is it this one? No, it's not that side. Okay, so it must be this one then. Uh, where are you, shroomish? Where the fuck is it? It says it's near the town sign. Uh, there it is! Shroomish! Mush? Mush? <laughs> uh, remember, viewers, don't eat the mushroom. Who wants to go swimming? Ah, mush. Really, mush you? Wow. Must you do this? Thank you for finding my shroomish. No problem. I'll give you this, I just found it. It has a strange shape and looks amazing. Oh, Rami, get an intriguing stone. Alright, thank you. Mush! <laughs> Alright, cool. Keep that intriguing stone in mind because we're going to examine that today. Before that, though, let's go visit Wally. In the case, there's his uncle right here. How's it going? Oh, so you did come to visit. If you're looking for Wally, though, I'm afraid he's gone. What? Where'd he go? After he lost to you in Marvel, he said he had to train more, and we haven't seen him since. It must be his Pokemon that has lit uh, such a fire in that boy, that's given him so much hope to live for. Wow, that is a switch. Because back in the Gen 3 games, I remember that w whenever you come to Verdanturf to visit Wally after Marvel, um, Wally would be here at the house here. But in the Gen 6 remake, he ain't here. Huh. My daughter's boyfriend is a very driven and passionate sort of person. He's been digging a tunnel non-stop just so he can see my daughter. My daughter's a little concerned, so she goes out to the tunnel a lot. Is that so? She's referring to Rusloff Tunnel. That's the tunnel that we went through earlier in the game to rescue um Mr. Bronny's Wingle, remember? Pikachu! With the wind that blows this way, volcanic ash has never blown in this direction. That means that the air is clean and delicious here. It could surely do wonders for the frail and sickly. Which would, once I, like I said last time, which would explain why Wiley w w was moved here. But then again, doesn't it just collaborate what I said earlier about, you know, the air making people just high on the shit? Like, ah, uh, the air is so tasty! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, yeah, the air is just very delicious here, apparently. The air just has such a flavor about it. And apparently we're near a, a, a mountain that spews volcanic ash. So, you know, that's a thing too. But yeah, we got Ultra Balls now. I guess after defeating Watson, I guess they, un, you know, unlock. Yay. <laughs> but yeah, one of the best um Poke or regular Pokeballs in the game. Definitely get it if you got the cash. If not, then well, stick to the Great Balls. They're really good for this point. You don't really need the Ultra Balls right now and stuff like that, but it's just something to have if you, well, I guess for later. I, why do they sell this shit so early? Because normally you're not supposed to gain access to Max Repel until, like, I think the sixth gem here in, back in the Gen 3 games. Ultra Balls were also the sixth gem town. Hyper Potions, I think, were, uh... After the fifth, I think. But, yeah, there you go. Alright, though. In the case, I think this guy sells some new Pokeballs. 
Yes, he does. Heal balls, nest balls, luxury balls. The luxury balls are really good for uh, for raising Pokemon that grow through friendship evolution, like Zubat, for example. So you know, just a little hint, hint, viewers. All right, the nest ball is good for Pokemon that are lower level. So this is probably one of the best Pokeballs in the game, in my opinion, because if you're trying to catch Pokemon at lower levels, but they break out of even Ultra Balls if you try to chuck it at them. Um, you know, there you go. The, the nest balls are one of the best balls in the game for catching low levels. So there you go. What if I told you there are even better Pokeballs than that, though? We'll have to go back to Rustboro to, to um, figure that out. That being said, though, there's the contest hall. Now, I will be doing uh, the next contest. There are four contest halls in Omega Ruby and, uh, and Alpha Sapphire, just like the original Ruby and Sapphire. This will also be a good opportunity to show off Pikachu in a contest, because I didn't show him off at the Slateport convention. Before we go to the contest hall, though, let's go pay a visit to Rustloff Tunnel and see if we can help out that, that lady's boyfriend. Remember, she said she was going there to the um to visit her boyfriend who's digging in the tunnel. In the case, fuck's over here. Sup, dude? Hmm, a bug catcher guy. I dropped my glasses. Can you help me find them? What? Aren't you already wearing glasses? Hmm. I. Right. <laughs> I don't know why he needs me to look for his glasses when he already has glasses on. But. Mm, Whatever, whatever. Forgot to register that. Alright, now then. Gotta put it on the Dowson machine in order to find it, though. You can't just find it out, right? Huh? Where is it? There you go! Uh, black glasses? Don't those increase dark type moves? Those were his glasses? I. Yeah, uh. Those glasses, may I see them for a sec? Yeah, here you go. These are black glasses. They're not what I'm looking for. Maybe my glasses aren't around here. Are you serious? The dude, viewers, I'm not going crazy, am I? The dude is literally wearing glasses. Uh, you know what, never mind. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this, but remember, when we went to the other side of Rustloff Tunnel earlier in the game, we saw these little circles in, in, in the mountain, in the mountains and stuff. Yeah, uh, these are used to create secret bases, and I'll go into those later on. But yeah, at, at least we got a pair of black glasses, so that's cool. Black glasses, as I said, increase the power of dark type moves. So, you know, really awesome. Unfortunately, we got a trainer in here. What do they call a man who lives among the mountain crags? A mountain man, right? So, why don't they call a Pokemon that climbs stiff cliffs, cliffs a Pokrogmon? What? Whatever. Just give me your exploding Geodude so I can be on my way, please. Oh shit, I forgot to put Nuz in the front. <laughs> oh, well, it doesn't matter. Pika Baby is more than enough. Now! Meteor Master! <laughs> Whoa! Uh -oh. Ow! Is that all? That's sad. Rock smash that bitch! Ew! <laughs> you got defeated by a Pikachu! You should be ashamed of yourself, Geo Dude. Seriously. A rock type that gets beaten by an electric type. That is just sad shit. Ah, my chop, my chop, my chop. My chop your ass and the key fighting! Ew! Damn, he took that! <laughs> well, I mean, he fainted, but he literally took that ball. Take these nuts. In the case, good job. Eh. You ran out of steam, Mr. Hiker, dude. They halted the development here to protect the Pokemon, right? That's a feel-good story. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> In any case, Max Ether. Noise. All right. Uh, ah, this must be the lady. Oh, that's the dude that we saw at that house uh, on Route 116 earlier. So he was the boyfriend. I want to do something about this boulder, but 
It's beyond me to deal with it alone. Why don't you teach one of your Pokemon Rock Smash? Your Pokemon? It can use Rock Smash? Yeah, it can. Please, use Rock Smash to break up these boulders. Uh, sure, I'll do it for you. Thank you so much for doing this. There you go. Wow, you shattered those boulders right out of the way. To show how much I appreciate that, I'll give you this. Ooh, an Agronite! Nice! That's used to Mega Evolve Agron. Cool. I found that when I was digging for the tunnel. I feel I felt like there's some mysterious power coming from it, but I don't think I can do a thing with it. Wanda, now I can see you anytime. That that's wonderful. Come on, let me take you to my place so you can rest. Oh, well, at least they're back together again. So, I did I did my good deed for the day. All right, viewers, we're back in Verdant Turf Town. Adjust my microphone. <laughs> Fail. That being said, though, I forgot to mention this earlier, but with the Pokeblock case, not only can you already have Pokeblocks in it if you pick up some, but you can also make the Pokeblocks while you have it on you, so you don't have to be in a building Unlike in the Gen 3 games where you have to go into a contest hall to make Pokeblocks. You can use that with the kit. So yeah, if you're trying to raise a Pokemon um, for the contest, with, you know, for coolness and stuff, um, mix up Sherry Berries and, and Leapa Berries. Mix those up and you can get red Pokeblocks. If you're lucky, you can get red Pokeblock Pluses, which gives you a bonus to your already um, red Pokeblocks, which it will give you a bonus to the cool stats. So I did those and I made some for, some more for Pikachu. Case. I've been feeling pretty confident about the cuteness of my Pokemon, so I came here to make its presence felt in the contest spectacular. Cool! Alright viewers, it's time for the Super Rank competition. Let's do it! Yeah. Like I said, there were four contest halls, just like in Ruby and Sapphire. Unlike Emeralds, only one for some reason. But, you know, there you go. So let's do our best to get all the contests done and make it to the Grand Festival, if you will. Well, not the Grand Festival, but <laughs> you know what I mean. That being said, though, what's up, dude? I'm in charge of repairing the contest hall for everyone. If you like, I can create a special effect during the talent round in the contest hall. Do you want me to do it? A special effect? Alright. Alright, I'll get it ready for you. Just enter the contest as usual. Cool, thanks. The hall is seriously it's gigantic. It's so gigantic that it gives me chills. It gives me the shivers. Which contest are you planning on entering? If you're entering the coolness contest, a cool Pokemon has to be the one. Pick a Pokemon worthy of the contest team and make sure it has the right set of moves to match. That's basic. Yes, any noob can figure that shit out. That being said though, I'm looking for somebody here. Who is it? Oh, oh, it's a woman. I thought it was a man that gives you it. Alright, never mind. Well, it makes sense. Oh, Pokemon, I adore them. It feels like I have an instant att attachment. I mean, oh my, I, I didn't mean to reveal that. Well, no matter. <laughs> if you're entering a contest, try this move on for size. Alright! I was looking for this TM. TM45 attract. Nice. Nice. Oh, po oh Pokemon, they adore me. It's like I used the move attract on myself. Uh, yeah, whatever. That being said, though, the attract TM, as I'm sure you already know, is really good. The nice thing about Attract is that you mostly want to give it to a female Pokemon in your party because more often than not, we'll be facing off against male Pokemon more often. So, hint, hint. But yeah, Attract works best with Pokemon of the opposite gender. Sadly, there is none for the same gender. <laughs> but, you know, there you go. But yeah, the Attract move is by far one of the most deadliest status moves in the game. I mean, what's worse than having, an, you know, a love attractive status element? I mean, you can't attack the opponent! So you leave yourself wide open while you're too busy with the love. So, yeah, it is a deadly combo. So, like, you can just attract the opponent and then use any other status element. So you can use attract to keep them from attacking and then use, like, sleep or paralysis or even poison to really fuck with them. It is a really trollish move. 
In any case, time for the contest. Alright, now we're going to enter the, um, the super rank, um, coolness competition. There we go. Yep, perfect. Hmm. Actually, wait a minute. Maybe, oh, you know what? No, no, I talked to the wrong lady. My be. <laughs> there you go. I was about to say, like, wait, what? I need to select the, the type of contest. In case. Alright, there you go. Alright, baby. No, no, no game. There you go. <laughs> Which category would you want to participate in? Coolness, please. What rank? Super! Alright. Oh, yeah. Right. Whatever, lady. <laughs> Entry four. Costume change! There you go. And it matches Pikachu's coolness outfit, too. So it'll work out. Don't forget, put on viewers, feed your Pokemon those Poke Blocks. We're going to do these contests. It is a massive game changer. Entry number one is Alien Sandy Claus. Sandy Claus, really? <laughs> Play on Santa Claus? Okay, th that's clever. Entry two, Gabrielia and Leon. The fuck kind of Pokemon is that? Ugly. No, 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 no. That's a Kecleon. Issue number three. Levy and Noon. Oh, now that's a cool Light Noon. Why does a swimmer have a Light Noon, though? That's kind of weird. Doesn't match the trainer archetype. Issue four. Mike and Pika. Yeah! Show up that charm, baby! fun here. That being said though, entry one. Let's see. Makes the audience quickly grow bored when no appeal has been made. Let's see. It excites the audience a lot if you first. This is perfect. Alright, let's do it. And the keep on! Oh my, that's so cool! <laughs> Not sure why I don't see the people in the background though. It looks all... Why is it all dark? Hmm. That's weird. Maybe somebody said that about the, um... Maybe it was that guy I talked to in the contest or that said he was going to do an effect for that. I wonder if he meant making the whole screen dark or some shit. Hmm. Alright. Whatever. What the fuck? How did that Kecleon get so much from D? Wow. Okay, then. In any case, now we're third. Let's see. For it when no appeal move has the... Okay, let's go with Volt Switch. All right. Fury Swipes. This Cacleon might be my toughest competition. I still can't get over Sandy Claws. Really? Sandy Claws? Whatever. Phone switch! Nice. Yay! And one more heart for good measure, baby. That's weird. Whatever. In the case, elegant ball. I'm really gonna shock the crowd. <laughs> nice. All right, corner move. Striking chronicles.
Okay, so that's the... Uh, are you serious? Who gets scared off by a surf? Hmm. I don't get that shit. Oh, that reference spin effect look cool, though. <laughs> it didn't show its appeal that much, but it excited the crowd. Really? Nah, that makes no sense. Alright. Entry four. Alright, we're going first again. I already used Electro Ball last time, so I can't use it this time. Let's see. When the peel has little effect. Let's go with Meteor Mash. Now! Meteor Mash! Boom! Now, the nice thing about Meteor Mash is that it can be used, like, every appeal round and not for the crowd. So, that's one move to really keep on Pikachu. Outside of battle, that is. Especially, especially if you're doing the contest. There you go. Alright! Is Fury Swipes really that much of a good move? It's like you had two Pokemon... Show off it in the same appeal. I don't know what's so cool about it. Alright, last round. Let's finish it off right, Pika Baby. Now! Eliki Ball! Phew! Nice! Yeah! Oh, could have used that last star though. Wait, wait! Oh. Okay, never mind. I thought those two extra hearts would have been enough to get the appeal. Well, you know, to use the appeal specialty move. But, oh well. <sighs> Already had our fun with that. Huh. Well, at least he used that after us, so... What? Bro. I thought that was only going to affect the sand shrew. Hmm. Either way, though... I think we still won because we got the most points, especially from using our Sparkling Chronicles. Alright, this is it! The winner of the Super Rank Competition! Let's see those results, baby. Now! Come on! Come on! Winner! you can enter the hyper rank awesome please be sure to enter the next rank too we'll be waiting for you thanks oh by the way someone seems to be waiting for you in the green room right over there all right i wonder if lisi is here oh what a shock she is eat that's so cool congrats on making it to the super rank mike <laughs> thank you i'm hyper rank now Looks like we reached the next chapter in your story. I'm calling it... Fabulous! Is this a dream? Am I a future contest star? Oh, it's so marvelous, darling. I'm sure you're on the path to contest stardom. You're, you'll be a star, Mike. Just like me. <laughs> Thanks! Of course, there's something captivating about your performance on stage. I bet you'll have an army of fans in no time. Watch out. <laughs> That's for sure. Huh. Good luck waiting for me to be your fan. Nani? Nani? Chaz! Is that the dude that was outside the arena? Hmm. Who's this supposed to be, Licia? I'm meant to be your one and only rival. Wait, what? I thought... I thought you were her boyfriend or something. Now look here, maybe you don't know this, but me and Licia are the most famous rivals in the contest world. We, when we debuted together back in Lily Cove, we stood at the top of the lighthouse and swore that we would both do our best to win. We talked the whole night till dawn. Well, actually, we stayed up for about 40 minutes, but it was still amazing. 
Uh, talk about a sim. Come on, Chaz. How many times do I have to tell you that there were no rivals in contests? <coughs> she hasn't seen the anime. <coughs> it's not that kind of competition. It's the combination of the trainer and his or her Pokemon that... What's wrong with being rivals? It makes more fun for the people watching us. Don't try to deny it. When people think of you, they think of me. Stop the cap. <laughs> Any other way around. When they think of me, they should think of Ali. Well, that's how things are. You get it now, newbie? <laughs> Sorry that you got your hopes up and shit, but at least his real rival will always be me! There's no room for you in our dramatic story of glory and success. Fuck off. Talk about dramatic. So, is he trying to be your rival? Is he trying to be your simp, Lysia? Because I, I honestly can't tell. That Chaz, he never listens. Don't mind him, Mike. He's not interested in rivals and stuff like that. I just want everyone to have fun together and enjoy contests. Huh, yeah, I, 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 I bet. <laughs> but in any case, there's the Pokemon breeder that gave us Pikachu. So if you ever want to change Pikachu's costume and stuff, you can talk to her. But like I said, don't forget that changes Pikachu's specialty move. So yeah, if you replace his coolness co um, costume, it won't have Meteor Mash. Case. Hey you, you were in the contest, right? Yeah. Let's see how can I put this. It was pretty good, wasn't it? You, I thought you and Pika were great. Thanks. Here you go. Oh, we get a soda pop. Nice. Wow, we got fans. Thank you very much. And we get a figgy berry. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, that was quite the performance, young man. Here you go. And we get a, a papa berry. Nice. A papa. All right, not bad. Oh, I thought this was the guy that was talking to her. I guess there's another guy that has his... They were too lazy to give Chaz his own specialty um character model. Hmm, whatever. In the case, viewers, we completed the um the Verdant Turf contest, and we got the super rank done. Now we have unlocked Hyper Mode, which we'll be doing, well, soon enough. I believe the next contest hall is in... Let me see... The next contest hall should be in Far Larbor Town, which is to the north. Which is perfect because it's on the way to Lobridge Town. Alright, perfect. Let's head to Far Larbor Town then. Next time! If you guys enjoy, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for Gimme Vids for me. And of course, when you subscribe, be sure to hit the bell so you notify of my newest uploads. Got something to say? Of course you do. Leave a comment. Till next time, dudes and dudettes. This is Mike for Rage Break Gaming. I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day, my bitches and bros. Smell you later.